now I usually... Ah, oh, forget it. Well, anyway, what I was about to say, uh, since it's, uh, 6.21 p.m., I was going to say that, uh, um, the Pink Rangers Morphin Gray case study, uh, will be postponed by April, for, until April, because I'm still working on making more money on these, uh, survey companies to get new printer cartridges, so I can print out a new, uh, face. So anyway, let's just move on to the, uh, the, uh, new Yellow Rangers' uh, Morphin Gray case study. Okay, usually I don't really, well, I know this is, you know, nighttime, and I never did a Morphin Gray case study during this setting, um, at all. And I thought this would be the first time in any of the videos, any Morphin Gray case studies of each of the characters that I have for my Power Rangers fan film. Um, because usually I do these Morphin Gray case studies around morning time. But uh, if you remember uh, f two weeks ago or so when, when I did Morphin Gray case studies on both the Blue and Green Rangers, um, that was during the afternoon. Now, today, I'm doing it during the nighttime setting with the new Yellow Galaxy Ranger. That I made up. Um, Thorne Campbell is the name of the character that I made up. Well, since I heard, since I had some negative feed, since I had some negative uh, um, backlash about me being the Yellow Ranger, I decided to get a, get a, uh, a white guy in the yellow suit this time. And this time, I'm using the facial likeness of Karan Culkin. Um, who is also who is also an actor and part of the Culkin family and also the the uh, younger brother of actor uh, ch former child star Macaulay Culkin, a child star I never really liked really. Um, I know Coran also I know Kar well aside to um, Macaulay I, I realized that um he he did had a, a small bit in Home Alone one or two or something, and I did well I, I think the reason why I got Coran Culkin for the part. Well, to be fair, um, when I saw Scott Pilgrim, when I saw the Scott Pilgrim versus the World movie, um, he had, I think Coran had a small bit in that movie, and I wasn't really sure if he would be um, my choice for the character. Well, even though it was my, it, it's my movie, I can do whatever the fuck I want. I haven't even did a Morphin Great case study uh, featuring any of uh, uh, what am I talking about? Blah, you know what I mean, but. Well, like I was going to say um, before, um, the reason why I had to ditch my Yellow Ranger, the one that, you know, that you guys saw in the A.J. Weems case study, uh, the case study featurette of my character, A.J. Weems, the reason why I had to ditch him was because, one, so, um, I had some negative feedback uh, in the past that they didn't, nobody didn't really like me as the Yellow Ranger. Because uh, the Yellow Galaxy Ranger is a girl, but even though my version was a guy and he was black, and even though that, you know, that Yellow Ranger, that if you've seen, go to AJ Weems Morphin Gray case study and you'll know that it has my head and my face on that puppet. But this is Coran. This is face for Thorne Campbell. So, therefore, the AJ Weems character, um, is no longer in my fan fiction series of Power Rangers, Lost Galaxy, slash. Galactic Military Police Defenders. Because I think my character that I made up as the Yellow Ranger, I think my character is gay. Because why do you think, heck, why do you think when I developed him and when I portrayed him, I, I, I made him feel like such a pessimistic faggot who doesn't like to be, tr doesn't like to be loved by a girl, never went on a date with a girl. That's why my character was so lonely. Like me in real life, well... I'm not gay, but my character is probably gay. Um, because knowing that he he never he never uh, kissed a girl, never been in love with a girl, like I've been saying just seconds ago, and well, Corin well, Thorn Campbell is a new, is the new uh, is a new character I created just in time for this reboot. And um, now, when you look at uh. This this photo of uh, Karen Culkin that I printed out uh, months ago. Is it just me, or did I just print out a photo of Daniel Radcliffe, aka Harry Potter, for the part? I don't know. This photo of Karen looks a bit like Harry Potter, or Daniel Radcliffe when he was younger, when he was like let's say ten years old when he made the the, the first movie of of the Harry Potter franchise. But it's not. It's not Daniel Radcliffe. If I did had 
the former Harry Potter star himself. I would have. I wouldn't. No. Uh, Let's see how he would look with the yellow Galaxy Rangers uh, helmet on because uh, I know you can't see the yellow very well because knowing that it's nighttime, it's uh, the yellow looks the yellowing uh, the yellow coloring uh, on the puppet is kind of bleached out somewhat. Let's see how he looks with the thing on. And of course, he um, there's the uh, Galacti the Wolf Galacti Beast uh, coin that coin emblem on his chest. Okay, and then oh yeah, and I I did bring one of the Rangers is a uh, Quasar Sabers, and of course this is the yellow one. Let me uh, attach it because I have a uh, push pin attached to it. See how it will look. Hold up, just give me a sec. Cause I know I, it's it's like if I had an action figure of the power of these Power Rangers, I would know exactly how to do what to do with these things. But unfortunately, I don't have toys of these characters anymore, except the Red Galaxy Ranger with his uh, conquering armor from the Bandai toy from the Bandai toy line that I still have down in the basement. Like I mentioned multiple times before in the on some of the videos in this channel. This uh, it's, it's hard to put it up here. Okay, now I got it on. Let's see how it looks. It looks almost like an action figure. But this is a cutout. <sighs> okay, now since I'm done with four Power Rangers, that leaves me one more to go, including the Magna Defender. Like I promised, I will do the yellow. I mean, not the yellow. I already this was the yellow one. But once when I do uh, the pink one, I'm done with the Morphin Grid case studies of each of the characters for this film. Except, well, even knowing that. I did ditch Trakina from being in this movie. So, um, I think that's about it for now until the pink range, until I get the, uh, get some printer cartridges to pink, uh, print out, um, Katie Cassidy's facial likeness to my, uh, pink ranger's body, and, uh, and then I'm done with the Morphin Grid case studies, and, oh yeah, and just to give you a, uh, heads up, the script for the Power Rangers Lost Galaxy fan film that I'm working on, like I mentioned to MMPR Toys, since I've received like over like seven eight comments on my video response to to that uh, to the uh to mpr film by now um anyway i want to give you guys a heads up on the script the script is almost halfway done give me some time to uh polish and uh polish some di polish the entire dialogue and also remove any unnecessary profanity and stuff because i know we want to, i want to do this power rangers fan film very dark and and gritty and edgy, but even 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 though it's going to be kid friendly, I'm just giving you a heads up that um I'm still working on a part of the fan film where it re um reenacts everything I saw off Quasar Quest all the way to the end of the Lights of Orion uh, saga, and um, I hope once when I put once when I post a link on one of my videos, my future videos for, on this channel for the film, I will. copy and paste the link to it so that way you will you will see what you'll think of the script if it's bad if it's good then i will go on and shoot that script if it's bad then i'm going to have to rewrite it or another option do this do this fan film with just custom dialogue as in the actors will have to say whatever the heck they want well based on the scenes 
because I know the movie will mainly focus on the action and everything else and special effects. So that's about it. Until remember, Pinky, next time, remember that. Comment, subscribe. It's going to get closer because in, in, in another month I will reveal this mysterious villain that I created for the new series. So keep on subscribing and following us. And me.